Losing your wallet sucks. Not only do you have to deal with the money you lost, but you start wondering, was it lost or was it stolen? Because if the latter happened, you might be at a higher risk than you think. See, last year, 47% of Americans experienced financial identity theft. It often starts with the stolen wallet. Scammers can sell your identity or driver's license on the dark web, so you need to take action to protect your identity. That's why today I'm gonna tell you the five steps you should follow if you lose your wallet. Number one, retrace your steps and search for your lost wallet. Before you start calling the police or informing people that you lost your stuff, there might be a chance that you've just misplaced it somewhere. Take a moment, try to remember when was the last time you saw it. Then start searching everywhere, behind the couch, under the table between your car seats check your gym work office and recently visited restaurants to see if anyone has turned it in if you still don't find it then it's time to move to step number two list everything that was inside your wallet take a pen and paper and write down what was inside your wallet your credit card your driver's license how much money you had the chewing gum that you've been keeping for the past three months everything. Now it's time to start contacting the responsible agencies to inform them of the situation. Which brings us to step number three, the important phone calls. The first person who you need to call, of course, is your bank to report your debit card as lost or stolen. Your bank will cancel your last debit card and issue a new one with a new card number. Also, call your credit card number and follow the same process you did for the debit card. And now let's go to the most difficult stuff. You'll need to initiate a credit freeze. You'll need to manually contact the three major credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. The credit bureaus will place a fraud alert on your account to prevent scammers from hurting your credit score or opening new accounts in your name. This can be a very emotionally stressing and time-consuming process, but Aura can handle this for you by calling the three major credit bureaus and guiding you through the process. Next, contact the DMV and request a replacement driver's license. We've already made a video explaining what the fraudster can do with your driver's license, so check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. Lastly, contact the Social Security Administration. If you made the mistake of carrying your Social Security card in your wallet, then then you will need to request a replacement social security card. After you're done with the phone calls, let's move on to number four, file a police report. Having a police report will help you a lot in case of identity theft. Any claims of fraud happening after you file the report can be supported and proven more easily. So don't sleep on that. Go to your local police station and file a report. And finally, number five, get identity theft protection. If you lose your wallet and important ID documents are inside, you're at a high risk of identity theft. So how can you proactively monitor your identity and protect your personal data? Aura's identity theft protection program will continuously scan and monitor your personal information. It'll let you know if your information is exposed to the dark web, if there are unauthorized bank transfers and if new accounts or credit cards are opened in your name. You can try it for free by clicking the link in the description. Unfortunately, almost two in three people have lost their wallet or had it stolen at least once. So in the end, the solution is to keep your wallet light. Don't carry a lot of stuff in your wallet and have only one piece of identification. Don't carry too many credit cards. Personally, I take an extra step. I put my money inside my wallet and my credit card in my pocket, which minimizes the risk of having too many things stolen or lost at once. So always carry a light wallet. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. My name is Upton and I'll see you in the next video.